Okay, so today I am making my ultimate breakfast burrito. Now, this comes from uh, my dad's barbecue brisket. On Sundays, my dad loved to invite all of his daughters, my sisters, and myself over for barbecue. And when we'd leave, he'd always make sure we had a to-go plate. So the next morning, I loved to take any barbecue he had, chop it up, and saute it with onions and take some of his Mexican style rice, charro beans, and basically create a breakfast burrito. I don't have leftover rice today, so this is me making some. I've toasted one cup of rice. Now I'm adding two cups of water. I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato chicken flavored bouillon powder. Give it a mix and add some onion powder, garlic powder, ground cumin. I like to add some cracked black pepper and I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer. And once it starts to simmer, I'm gonna cover with the lid, lower the heat and cook for about 18 to 20 minutes. This is actually my dad's recipe. I put this recipe in my cookbook, by the way. The cookbook link is in the description below. So once it's done, I'm gonna shut off the heat. Do not lift the lid and just let it set for about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, lift the lid and fluff and it's ready. Here I have some store-bought brisket. By the way, sadly, this is not my father's brisket. His brisket was amazing and definitely had a nice bark and smoke rings to it, but I'm making do with what I have. So with my kitchen shears, I just chopped some pre-sliced brisket and in a cold pan, I'm going to add it and then I'm gonna turn on the heat. Doing this will help render out whatever fat is on the brisket instead of adding oil to your pan. So now I'm just going to saute and render as much fat as I can. Sometimes I like to add chopped Roma tomato, jalapeno, and onion to this to sort of make it a la Mexicana style. But today I'm just gonna add some diced onion and just continue to saute and cook. Okay, so now this is done. I'm gonna remove it from the pan and set aside until I'm ready to use it. In the same pan, I'm going to fry charro beans. Now you don't have to have this particular type of bean. You could use a can of refried beans or just plain pinto beans and season how you like. I'm just going to mash and fry them. And once they're mashed and bubbling, I'm just going to turn off the heat and set aside until I'm ready to use them. This is a breakfast burrito and I like sunny side up eggs. You could actually add scrambled eggs to the meat, but that's what I like. So here I've made homemade burrito sized soft flour tortillas. If you wanna see how I made these, I will link my crunch wrap video in the description below. Basically I take my flour tortilla dough and I divide it into about six or seven dough balls, roll it out into large tortillas and cook until they are soft and pliable. So now it's time to build this ultimate breakfast burrito. Now that this is assembled, I'm going to place it on a buttered griddle and I'm going to basically toast each side. Now I'm just going to slice in half and you can serve it with hot sauce or your favorite salsa. It all works. This is my ultimate breakfast burrito. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.